Hello guys, today I have a quick tip for you about Eloquent or specifically about Query Builder, how to ignore the potential errors. There is a feature called insert or ignore. Pretty typical scenario for that is inserting a lot of records and potentially bumping into some duplicate values, for example, in users table. If the email value is the same, then you have a choice what to do stop all the operation. For example, if it's a CSV import with a lot of records or log errors somewhere or just ignore. So if you want to ignore, I will show you a trick. So let's open Artisan Tinker here and in the same database, let's run user insert. So I've prepared this user insert with email that already exists. And if we run that, we have an error. Integrity constraint violation, duplicate entry with the email. So you can of course do try catch or log that error somewhere or you can do user insert or ignore which will return zero generally insert returns the amount of records that were inserted so zero no error if we refresh the database refresh no new records appeared but there is no error and your script your general laravel script may continue also, if you have a few records to insert, for example, like this, for example, one array with email that exists and another array of user with some new email. If you launch that, then you have the result of one, which means one record was inserted. If we refresh the database, it's here. And again, you have no error. And if you launch, for example, this one with totally non-existing emails, then the result will be two and two records inserted into the database. This insert or ignore exists only on insert, but not on create. So if you use Eloquent, there's no user create or ignore. It's just insert or ignore on query builder, which means that it doesn't automatically fill in the timestamp because insert just launches MySQL query. And under the hood, what is happening? depending on the database engine actually, but if you use MySQL, this is the actual syntax, insert, ignore. So what Laravel does is just calling the MySQL syntax for insert, ignore. That's why the create method for Eloquent, it's much more complex with a lot of bindings and stuff. So from Eloquent, you cannot just launch create or ignore. But quite often, especially for bigger imports of larger amount of data, insert is actually faster to insert an array than to call create function from Eloquent. So you may use insert or ignore as well for that. Generally about importing CSVs on my channel, I have quite a few videos. So you can search for CSV import or CSV import errors. And I will link that list in the description below as well. So that's if you're interested in CSV import or if you're interested in insert or ignore, you can also read the full article, which I will also link in the description below. What do you think about insert or ignore? Have you used that or how you deal with such situations and duplications of emails in the user's records? Share in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.